Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. What I've got for you guys today might as well be the best play in the entire game. It beats every single zone coverage in the game. Trust me on that. It also beats man coverage. This might be the best play in the game. I am of course talking about the play Bunch Trail. Bunch Trail is amazing because it saves you a lot of ability points. Like you don't need a route ability for a skinny post. You don't need a route ability for a corner. You don't need a route ability for a tight end angle route. It's amazing. It's got it all. And I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. I want to start off by throwing bombs and fucking... Oh, and I'm like I said. Yeah, we're going to go against cover 2 first. And cover 2 really is an easy target. Like, I'm just going to max protect right here. And the important thing that you always need to keep in mind for this play is that you want to call it with the bunch to the short side. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but the play works better that way. So I've got it max protected right here. I'll snap this ball and you will see how this just gets wide open. Just wide open. And I want to go into replay because, of course, you're going to say, well, it's a skinny post that's supposed to be cover two. And yes, while that is the, while that is the case, obviously, uh, that is true. Skinny posts are supposed to do that. Look at what happens right here. My man's, I mean, he just he just follows the corner run. And the corner run actually is what makes this play amazing. If we think about it, uh, let's just max protect and have a hitch right here. You will see how this is way more covered. This is way closer, more closely covered. Like, this, yeah, it's a pick. So with that in mind, we need the corner route right there. Very important to know. If you wouldn't mind, just please take a few seconds out of your day. Subscribe to this channel. It would support me a lot. Leave a like while you're at it as well. YouTube algorithm really likes it and it would help this video reach more people. Thanks so much. Switching right over to bombing cover three. We're just going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to max protect. The corner route is going to do an amazing job of uh, dragging down the third. And then here's the second thing that we need to do for this. We need to put a fade on circle and motion snap him across the formation like this. That's absolutely imperative because now we're going to take away some of the attention from the middle third and going to get that post even more open now i'm gonna uh, snap the ball again against cover three without that and you'll see a major difference so we'll switch to cover three on defense this is going to be the setup i'm not going to fade this time this is how it looks on defense snap the ball and you will see i'll just try to get in as much time as possible and as you see we just don't get it like for some reason he stops that was weird but you see how the uh, inside third is kind of more cheating to the post that's what we don't want so to make sure that this works I'm gonna put a fade on my guy just like that, cover three on defense, snap this ball, try to step up a little bit in the pocket, and now you see me just throwing this absolute laser, and there's nothing they can do about it. Cover three is absolute toast against this. Last but certainly not least, I want to talk about how to beat cover four out of this, and cover four, it used to be pretty easy to beat cover four out of bunch, let's be honest, like, all you needed to do pretty much is, uh, you needed to have the bunch to the wide side for this one, but all you needed to do is just have a skinny post and then put a curl on the field, like, that was it. That was a cover four beater. This year that doesn't work. So I was kind of, I was kind of annoyed because the only reason uh, that I stayed in uh, the Cincinnati, not not Cincinnati, uh, the Indianapolis Colts bunch of offsets along, is because I knew I had a cover four beater that was a hundred percent guaranteed. Well, this is a cover four beater out of this. All you need to do is you need to slant both R1 and circle. It didn't show it on the screen, but believe me, they are on slants. And now you see me if that I can just laser this over the top. Now the obvious thing that you're gonna think right there is. It didn't look that open. And that is true. That did not look that open. But trust me, this is consistent. Tom Brady has a noodle arm. He can't lead passes that well. And Mike Evans is pretty slow. I'm just going to say it. Mike Evans is pretty slow for Madden. So him getting separation. Now that is a very good indication that this is consistent. I'm going to do the same thing again. Now you can see actually uh, that the setup is showing on the screen. I'll just get the time. And I'll step into that throw. And you see how we get a step. Now, that is not a lot. There are cover four bombs that are uh, way better than this, and I'll show them in this ebook. But it is important to know that this is consistent. It doesn't look as pretty as some of the other ones, but believe me that this works 100% of the time. They really have to know that it's coming. They might have to put a deep half out there. That might do, take, uh, do a better job of taking care of this. But the inside third, it just gets cooked. And once again, very slow receiver, very low throw power. The throw takes forever to get there because of bad throwing animation. Like we have everything stacked against us in this play. It just works. Same deal. Now we got Scott Miller out there. He's a little faster. And so you will see how this works. All I'm going to do is I'm going to max protect just to get as much time as possible. And you will see how we get a step on this. And Scott Miller is not the best route runner. And believe me, this is consistent, guys. This is absolutely consistent. You're going to know because if you play ultimate team or if you play against people online, you know that these skinny posts absolutely torture. And once again, we see a very similar dynamic uh, to what happened with the cover two. 
if we go into instant replay, we will know how the deep zone on the left, how he just kind of follows that corner out, and that opens up the window. If we don't have that corner out, and I want to uh, just show you this really quickly, I'm going to put a hitch on the R1 receiver. Now you will see how we're just way more there. And despite also be, uh, this time uh, the cornerback covering a little better, now the zone is there to play that. And so that corner is very, very imperative. And it's important for it to be on that play to take away some of the attention of the deep half. One more time, I'm gonna snap this ball. Now you see again with the corner out and we have the wide receiver right open. We get shedded, but the wide receiver is there. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check in tomorrow to make sure you not miss the last part of the bunch part of this ebook. Because let's face it, bunch is my favorite formation. It's the best formation in the game, in my opinion, still. Anyways, I'm signing off as always. Peace. Okay.